All right, you guys, it's time to review the movie Spy. <coughs> you guys, hold that one thought. I gotta go undercover to see what that mission is. You know why? Because I'm a spy. Hello everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review the action comedy film Spy. So Spy is written and directed by Paul Feig. The movie stars Melissa McCarthy, Jason Statham, Rose Byrne, Jude Law, and Allison Jenny. So Spy is about the CIA analyst played by Melissa McCarthy. Trouble occurs when there's a possibility for a global disaster because of some arms dealer that's behind it and so the CIA cannot risk showing any recognizable faces and since Melissa McCarthy is the woman that just sits behind the desk and since she is less known to be recognized she volunteers to go do this undercover mission for the CIA and try to uncover who's in charge of this whole plan. So going into Spy, I will actually say I was pretty damn interested in seeing this movie. I haven't been exactly a fan of Paul Feig's previous two movies. This is his third film. I'm going to be honest with you guys, Bridesmaids, I hated that movie. I know that's a movie a lot of people loved, and that's awesome. I respect those that loved Bridesmaids, but to me, I hated the movie. I did not give a shit about the characters. Most of the comedy is unbearable. But then The Heat came along, and I will say, The Heat was decent. It still could have been better, but it was way way better than Bridesmaids at least. And honestly, after seeing Spy, I can honestly say I was very satisfied. The writing in Spy is actually really brilliant. Paul Feig just did a very great job doing the writing for Spy. And you know, while the whole premise might not be something new, what Paul Feig does for this movie, he just makes it so fresh. Not only is it very well written, but it's also very well directed, especially when it comes to the action scenes. Now, I gotta say, one of the best parts by far about Spy are the action scenes. They're very well choreographed, they're exciting, they're funny, he blends excitement and funny when he's directing all of these set pieces, especially this one scene inside this kitchen, I thought, that was the most entertaining action piece of the whole movie. Melissa McCarthy, I really liked her in this movie. She's someone I used to hate. And I remember when Bridesmaids came out, I was like, yeah, I did not find her funny. And she's just someone that I, I have not been a fan of. I am slowly warming more up to Melissa McCarthy because she does show that she has a lot of talent for an actress. If you guys have not seen St. Vincent, those that are sick of Melissa McCarthy, I highly recommend watching St. Vincent and you could see how much range she really does have as an actress. Jason Statham, one of the best parts. Holy crap, this dude kills it and spy. The stuff that he says is just bizarre, but it's just so funny and he just really gives it his all 100%. Another person I thought killed it in this movie was Rose Byrne. Now, Rose Byrne, we've been seeing how much talent this woman has. I mean, I still think about her performance in Neighbors, because she killed it in Neighbors. And her other performances she's done have been really good, but man, in Spy, she completely turns it around. She still has the Rose Byrne-isms, but... Instead of her being this sweet, charming, beautiful woman, she's this bitchy, devious, beautiful woman. She really does a great job. I was really impressed by her acting range and spy. She provided a lot. For her being a bitch, she was kind of likable at the same time, especially for some of the things she would say in the movie. And then I also do have to give credit to Jude Law. He may not be in the movie as much as like Melissa McCarthy, Jason Statham, and Rose Byrne, but he did do a really good job for what he had. A lot of the jokes in this movie just really 
hit it for me. I was laughing a lot. For the most part, I thought he did a really good job with the comedy. But now, there are negatives I do have with Spy. Now, like I said, most of the comedy worked. And that's because some of the comedy in this movie really did not work. It fell flat. There's this thing where bats and rats are in the CIA office. I mean, that could work for some, but for me, I thought it was unnecessary. I get they wanted to try to do something a little different, a little wild, but for me, really, bats and rats in the office, that's not necessary. I just did not find that funny. There would be some conversations between characters that would drag on and on. Like, it'll start off funny, and then they drag on the joke and drag it on, and I'm just kind of like, okay, when are you going to stop this joke? Because it's really starting to drag on. The film does run 15 minutes too long as well. I feel like 15 minutes could have been shaved off of Spy because it is a two hour comedy. I think Spy could have worked better if it was at least this one hour and 45 minute comedy because I think it would have been paced better that way. And then the final problem I had with Spy was just this plot twist that I found extremely predictable. But overall guys, I thought Spy was a very fun, funny, highly entertaining movie with Paul Feig's solid writing and direction, the cast looking like they're having a ton of fun on screen, the action scenes being funny and exciting at the same time. It's just a very well done comedy and I think if you really liked Bridesmaids and The Heat then you're going to really enjoy Spy. So I'm going to give Spy three out of four stars. Spy does release in theaters on June 5th. So in the comments down below, let me know what did you think of Spy when you do go see the movie. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!